Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to introduce Top Solid 7's integrated PDM product. We'll show you how Top Solid 7 handles both major and minor revisions automatically. As well, we'll show you the design validation process. Okay, here we're going to introduce you to the built-in PDM within Top Solid 7. On the right, you see my project tree. The name of this project is currently Demonstration. Below that I have references and this allows us to have references to other projects or standard libraries for example. From here you might have standard templates that you want to include in each project. You might have some favorite items that you like to have in there. Maybe there's some uh, Word documents or Excel files that you use to track projects. So you can keep those in your favorites folder and just update them as need be and even version control them. Uh, from there you see I have something called flange cap. This is a part document as well as a flange cap which is a draft document. Now you notice that they both have the same name. This is okay because the name of the files is being controlled by the PDM within Top Solid. So these are just the names that we're calling each of these documents. So let's open up the flange cap and have a look at it. I want to see where it's currently at in its design. So, so far you can see some drillings in there, maybe an extrusion of boss or so, some fillets. On the left hand side you can see the operations used to create this. Now from here let's look to the right. Here we can see that this is on major version A, minor version 3. So this has gone through already four different minor revisions. Let's maybe go open the draft file and take a look at that. If we look in draft here you can see the detailed views and if I zoom up you can see this is reflecting the major version and the minor version in the draft file for this part file. So again, major version A, minor version 3, right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to my design file and we're going to make a change. Now, what I'm going to do is just right click on the edge here and add a fillet. And watch what happens when I do. Notice that minor version 4 was created for me automatically. I'm going to say OK to this fillet. I'm even going to go ahead and check in this object because I'm going to be done with it. So now that's checked in, the revision's made. If I go back to my flange cap over here for the draft, you can see that minor version 4 has been updated automatically, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check this in as well. Now we're going to talk about finalizing a design. And also another thing about Top Solid's interface. Notice that I can drag this over and dock it on this side if I want doesn't matter. You can rearrange the interface at any time, pull it off onto another screen if you like even. So what we're going to do is we're going to finalize this design. I'm going to go to my flange cap, right mouse button, click on it, go to states, and validate. And here I'm going to validate this design. You can add comments if you want. From there we have a validated design. Now watch what happens if I go to make a design revision now. I'm going to just simply maybe use some of the drag and drop technique of Top Solid 7 and just drop it in here. And notice that major version B was just created, B.0. Well that's pretty cool. Top Solid 7 is actually managing all of the major and minor revisions for you automatically. You're just left to design. One final thought here, I'm going to go ahead and check this in. We'll say that's done. And you only need to check in things when it is done. Now from here, let's go to draft and notice that major version A4 is still here. Why? Well, that's because maybe we haven't decided to update everywhere that this model has been used yet with this new version. But in this case, I want to. So I'm going to go to my draft and go to redirection and say redirect references on last major revision. Look, there's one. I'm going to say OK. And like that, we're now on B0. The updates have been made, and everything's done. So hopefully this shows you the power of the built-in PDM within Top Solid 7, and that you see it's very, very easy to use and extremely powerful on top of that. 